Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about timers and how to register a timer using timed annotation to create a new custom matrix. So what situation that timers will help? So every time we'll need to measure short duration latencies and the frequency of some events, functions, APIs, timers should absolutely be considered. So basically with the setting distribution statistics like percentiles and histograms, a timer will provide us with the basic of count, total, max of the timed events. We're gonna check it out now. Okay, so let's go ahead. We tend to use add timed here to create our old matrix, but before that, we'd like to do it grammatically to get better understanding how it works. Let's move on and back to our Spring Boot application. So, I'll go to the application, the Hello Controller, and we're gonna to create a new API, Sleep API. So as you can see here, it's very simple. Just receive a millisecond and call another method to sleep at that millisecond. And then it's return it back, the input back, and bring the result to our client. Very easy and simple. Now we want to observe the metric of the new method here. One thing worth noticing that you don't need to observe the API itself, this method, because we already had it in the default metrics, HTTP server request provided by the actor. Okay, so in order to matrix our method, we have to create a timer for each method we want to metric. So in our case, I will create a do slip timer. So this controllers, and now I have a new private final timer. So it's, it's in my meter car intrusion. And this timer will name at do slip timer. Then we have to register it to a meter registry. We'll also quite a meter registry in here in the constructors. Meter registry one, meter registry, and use this meter registry to create an instant for our timer. Okay, uh, do slip timer. Case. and we'll name the matrix here is do slip method times okay remember that we said that we have to we can only you know like uh, assign more tasks to the timer for example I will have label time label time value time so you see this is the name and this is the task, the task labels and the task values, right? Okay. The next step is apply into our method. So we need to figure out the um, latency of this method. Then we'll do this. So do this timer, and I want to record this method. Okay, I would like to record this method and I also want the results as well. So, result. Okay, so now we are measured this method using the house do's list timer. Okay, so let's move to the next step spin up all our containers. Curd compose of manatees and then run our application. Okay, let's go check that. So we have local host actors matrix. So we have this do slip methods time here, right? Okay, let's check this one. 
do slip method attempt. So you see, is the name here that we provide for the timers. Okay, check stick time. So currently is that no count, no total times. The max latency, the number of requests and the total latency of all the requests, right? Okay, then we're going to run the slip endpoint that we, sorry, local host, ATAT host slip and remember that I'll run it with the MS flight 500 okay and the second time is 1000 and the last time is 1500 so we run total three requests right and the maximum latency is obviously this one, 1,500. And the total latency of three requests is 500 plus 1,000 plus 1,500. So let's go into see how it's returned. So we have the cows here, trees, and the maximum is 1,500. Uh, and the total time equal 500 plus 1,000 plus 1,500 equal 3,000, right? And take a look at the available tax here so we don't see any new tax, right? Because we do it manually, so there's no addition tab here. Okay, so do you remember what I told you before that we don't need to measure in the ABI because it's, we already have it in the default metric, right? So let's see that one. So we have the HTTP server request. It's also a kind of, you know, time matrix. So HTTP server request. And let's check the API, our API slip in the tag URI, right? So I would like to tag URI slip, and you will see, right? So this is the count. So this, this request slip is also called three time as same as, as same as the do slip method, right? So this one, okay. Uh, do slip method time. So they so similar, right? Do slip method three count and the total time here is and the total time is larger because they, they have to deserialize, a serial, deserialize, serialize the response, the request, and that's why, yeah. So this is the default matrix for HTTP request. So we don't need to measure the API as well. We just need to measure that we want that's our business one. For example, here's the method. It's much more sand. Okay, now let's back to the way with using annotation. So we will, would like to use the attempt here. So the documentations. So in order to use the attempt annotation, we need to, you know, config out the beans with time aspect. And this one requires a string IOP, right? So if you're using string boot as our service currently do. So we don't need to config anything about Spring AOP, but if you're using Spring Framework, then you need to add uh, AOP as a dependencies and enable, uh, like have to enable the Spring AOPs if you're using Spring Framework. Yeah, expect cheese auto processing here to enable using of the aspect. Okay, but we are using Spring Boot now, so we don't need to do that. So we just need to create this one. So I'm going to write another configuration class. But for the consistent, I will rename it a bit. Uh, config. Okay. And this one, I will create a time spec here. 
So in order to use the arc time, we need to declare a time aspect as a bin. So meter S3, and this one should be the configuration class. OK, then now we can use the at attempt. Let's take a look at the time aspect here. You will see it will find all the class, or all the method have the time at time annotation and process the times first. OK, back to applications. So this time, we will we not doing it. So let's copy this one and back to result. And we don't need to manually uh, slipper, OK? and at time and in this one oh, we'll have value here and the values is also the name of the timer so do slip metal time right okay so it means we want to measures the time for this do slip method at the same with the programmatically method that we use okay now no need to declare timers no need to use the do slot timer here okay then let rerun it and let's see it's work or not Okay, restart applications. So, fail to initiate my meter time spec. It look like we have to add the AOP dependency here. Okay, AOP. Then, so I hope now we have this class, right? No class. The default the process don't point. Okay, let's take a look at the spec. Okay, now we understand the seating joy point here. Okay, back to application. Uh, let's run it again. Okay, it's run successfully. But 100% that we still don't have the metric that we want so here's so there's nothing like do slip method right okay because we are using AOP and spring AO speed doesn't support call inside one method go inside the class right for example this method slip called the do slip method but inside a class, the same class. So that means the proxy will not be created in this one and will not be called in this one. So actually this one will call directly to the do slip method with the proxy. So in order to do that, we have to move this one to a separate class. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'll copy this one. Then create another class. S slip service. And I'll pass this one here. Service. I'm going to auto wire this to the controller. Private final slip service. Slip service. Then I'll put auto wire it. So we don't need meter S3 here anymore. Okay, so now do slip instead of code directly in the inside class. Then go to code to the slip service. So now we code to the all the class. Then when we code to this method, 
this will be warped by a proxy and it's what we want so we don't need this anymore okay everything good good now I'm going to restart this one okay so let's refresh this so currently we still don't see refresh okay we still don't see it but let's try to run the slip so let's run it okay so back to this one okay we have do slip method time here and let's check it so now we have so this is a total time this is the yeah maximum latencies and the cow and you can also you know put a breakpoint in the term aspect here so would like to take the checkpoint to the method right so any method annotation with time will in this method will be invoked when we call to the uh when we call to this do slip okay so I'm slipping and then you will see that before we jump to the do slip method it will be you know cache here in the notations and okay let put in here so I'm pass it so it will go to here okay okay so yes return find rest and let's see uh, sleep metal time two now okay I think that's it for the video thank you so much for take a, taking a look at this video and the entire series here I uh, hope you will learn something new from this video and happy coding <laughs>